Welcome to Storytime with Sugar. Today we're reading How to Behave at a Tea Party. First, you open the invitation. Then, you scrub your left elbow and your right knee. Don't forget the ears, Charles, or the nose. Next, you put on fancy clothes. Wear a fancy hat. Underwear does not count as a hat. Help me put out the tablecloth and a fresh vase of peonies. Do not invite the McGann brothers or the frog. Leave the shake in your room, Charles. You may bring a stuffed animal and a present. Do not eat the peonies or the tablecloth. You must take deep breaths and count to seven. I will do all of the pouring. You will hold the teacup nicely by the handle like this. We will eat tiny sponge cakes with raspberry jam and sandwiches that are out cut out with cookie cutters, except for Rexy. You may bring your own bone. You must say please and thank you. You must not slurp like a moose or burp like Uncle Victor. You must take deeper breaths and count to 382. You can't build a rocket out of sugar cubes. Do not tie Barry to the chair. No towers out of teacups, Charles, but frogs don't even like tea. Towers shouldn't crash. No little brothers at this tea party. No dogs, no frogs, no anybody. If you want to have a proper tea party, you must reinvite the guest. All right, go ahead. Bring the McKagan brothers. Of course you're invited, Rexy. You too, frog. I suppose we could build a rocket ship out of sugar cubes. Maybe we could make a castle and a dragon and a moat. You may juggle the saucers if you want to, Charles, and rest a spoon on your nose. You may turn your napkin into a dinosaur and the tablecloth into a cape. If it's high tea, you must drink it at the tippy top, and you must give me a hug and say, Oh, Julia, you do throw the best parties. 